Photoshop CC 2018 video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you the curvature pen tool. It's a new feature of Photoshop and the first thing to do is actually show you where the tool is and that's in the toolbar and over here see my there curvature pen tool. Now you might find it in your extra section so there's just a little section there extras and you might find it down the bottom. Now if you want to actually bring it into the main toolbar just go to edit toolbar and just go down and see the curvature pen tool there. You probably find it in your over here. Just select it and drag it over into this toolbar, and then it'll be part of the main toolbar. Okay, so once you've actually got that, and I'm just going to select there now, you can use it as a path. And I'm just going to show you quickly path, it's a very basic path. Path there, you of course, you can use selections, etc., from that, or turn it into a shape, etc. Now you can see pass down here, work pass. Now I'm not going to be using pass. I personally I prefer shape, so I'm just going to come out of that window, this tree, and go down there. Okay, now just going to select the shape option. Once you've actually done that, you can actually use it obviously with a gradient or solid color or pattern. So just going to select the gradient and now just click on the on the document and you can see as you click you've got this lovely line that shows you the curve so you just draw around there and just go around there just there and there click there and you see nice curve very easy to do now if you want to actually edit that curve and sort of move some of the points just basically hover over there and you can see just add another point if you wish or you can click actually the point itself and just drag that up, move that backwards and forwards. Again, it's slightly modified design. Okay, move that there. If you want to delete part, actual point, just select that, just click it there and then delete. Now, I'm not going to do that, just bring that back. So once you've actually again got that, edit and define custom shape if you want to save it. So click OK. Okay, move that around, move that. And again, what you can also do, of course, at the same time, is actually go to Layer, Layer Styles. You can actually go Bevel Emboss, and just maybe add Bevel Emboss there, and create a nice design. And you can still edit it, of course. You can just move that around like that. You can also click on there, so double-click on that, and you make that as a straight line, so it's a, just there. I'm not going to do that. Keep it curved, but you can change that so now if you want to add another path to that what you can do just go over here click there click there click there now unfortunately it doesn't carry the the actual style across but what you can do you just go over here select that and select that and then just go to layer combine shapes and unite shapes and again loses the uh, lovely bevel but just go back there Bevel boss, and just put that back again. Click OK. And there you have a great design. Again, what you can do, you can actually go merge shape components. So that's merge now, and edit and define custom shape. But again, it's still editable, so you can just click there and you can just go around and you can just modify design like that. Maybe add some holes in as well. So if you actually go there, Click there and again go that to select both and layer combine shapes subtract shape and again of course loses the uh, from the boss click OK now that's it very quick run through of the pen tool it's a great little uh, feature new curvature pen tool so uh, create some interesting designs which can be of course used as custom shapes use the stone and of course what you can do as always with all these things you can transform just like I've just been doing there and view window and properties you can apply various things like feather to actually make a nice sort of blurry effect as well and maybe add masking and other obviously layer styles and maybe smart filters and much more hope you found this of interest thank you much